Good morning. Right back at this bitch again. You know how shit go, man. Right back in here. Missed a few days yesterday. Now yesterday, jewelry duty, as you guys know already. Today I'm back to work again. Feel me? Today is um March 15th. 2022 on a Tuesday I made a few purchases yesterday they charged me but didn't put the statement on my statement account you feel me but the money you see the money has been charged but at the same time they ain't put the money in the statement account when they do do that when you don't see the money on the statement account because you cannot buy something if the money's not in the account. They wouldn't even let you walk out the store. They'd be like, sir, it's declined. You feel me? So they will charge you, right? They can put the money on hold and act like they're putting the money on hold. So sometimes when money's put on hold, sometimes it doesn't register on your statement account. Then they accept it, they charge you again. So that's why it's not on my statement account right now. Now I gotta wait and see if they're gonna charge me again. But I know for a fact that money was taken out. <clears throat> I know for a fact, cause there's no way, man. You you try to order something or try to buy something with no money on your card. It'd be like, say your card was declined. They they charge the amount on your card just to see if there's money on it. And if they wanna do that, they they put it on hold. And it's like I'm tight. I'm not blaming the store, but it's like you know. You know, people, people, I'm not blaming the company neither. But you have these people who fraud. You know, they fraudulent. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, man. I'm going to just keep an eye on it. It's unfortunate. That's my life, man. People lie on me all the time. Then they steal from you. California just got a lot of stealing ass niggas, man. It just, they steal like it's a fucking sport. They just be just fucking rat on the cheese my nigga like they're just stealing and stealing and stealing and stealing i'm like god damn nigga this shit is not a sport my nigga you can kill you can get killed for that my nigga like what the fuck but of course they always do that should be on you don't even know who's who anyway man i'm tired of talking about these niggas don't be like me keep your eye on your cash and always count that shit you feel me? They just thieves, my nigga. It's, it's, it's not something that you brag about. But when you have Hollywood making movies like Honest Thief and Heights and making it seems like it's cool to be these individual, these people really think that shit is hot. And it's like, yo, mo movies one thing and you got real life situations. You feel me? These people can glamorize and romanticize bad things but it's up to you to know that these things are wrong like that's common sense my nigga you feel me saying things a lot of kids were missing like you know con like having a decent conversation with somebody these people don't know how to do it you feel me they just don't know how to they don't know the difference between you coming close to somebody in a respectful manner and you calling somebody from across the street especially if you don't know that person hey yo shorty What's up? Like from far, of course she's not gonna respond to you. Now, if you approach her and be like, "Hey, how you doing?" She will respond to you in a better manner. Oh, you try to play me? Fuck you, then. You feel me? That kind of stuff. These, it's small things like these, these that you need to learn that be, makes you a bigger person. But if you have these flaws in your game, then your behaviors seem to get worse and worse because you're not checking these things. So when bigger problems come, you don't know how to check them. You feel me? If I know that, hey, I should approach somebody and have an intimate conversation. When I say intimate, just respectful conversation with the person. Because we in close distance, which means I'm paying respect to you. And you don't have respect for myself because the way I'm approaching you, that means it's a reflection on me, myself. So that means that means that when another problem comes, I've already developed these things that I'm already doing the regular for me to, you know what I mean, um, uh, operate very well in these situations. But if you're a person who is mad at somebody for not responding to you, or you have enablers who allow you to call them from across the street 
and now you run across the street. <laughs> you feel me? That's that's a person who's enabling you. Now when uh, other problems come, you think it's okay to do these things, and it seeks into other behaviors and other situations of your life because you always think that it's okay for you to speak to people like that. You always gonna think it's okay to treat people like that because you think your way is good. And you also gonna think it's okay to take things from people that don't belong to you because you haven't been taught as simple. Just something simple that could have been corrected. Like, hey, if you wanna speak to somebody who, especially somebody who you want to grab their attention, you ought to come a little closer. You know what I mean? It's simple. There's something when your mother's in the kitchen and you in the bedroom and he's like, mama. And she doesn't respond to you until you get close enough. And she'll be like, yes, what do you want? I was calling you that you gotta come. You, you there's one your mother or your father would teach him like, you're supposed to come to me and speak to me. You don't yell from across the room for me. You feel me? I'm not gonna respond to you. You feel me? This is when mother's supposed to step in and teach their kids like that. Because when you don't correct these little, little mistakes, this is when these behave personality, disorder behavior develop into saying themselves like sinister behaviors stalking manipulating gaslighting because guess what you didn't teach them these little things that you didn't think matter because you was too busy be like leave me alone shut up you so annoying all these things yeah that shit that shit that shit would definitely get to somebody you feel me but anyway man people gotta get their life together man so these are things that it doesn't even matter if I came from a home and I learned these things. If other, if there's more people than me who haven't learned these attributes, it does not benefit nobody. You feel me? Us as a group, as a whole, have to learn how to do these things. As a group, this is the only way we're going to move forward. It's, it's not going to benefit me for me to know these things and a lot of people don't know. This is the reason why it's very important that we all become students in the game that we play in. Just be a student of the game. You feel me? Learn these things. Even if you, if when you grow up to a certain age and you you realize, oh, my parents didn't teach me these things, well, you take it upon yourself to learn it on your own too. Like that's all, it's not that bad. Like just go learn it. Take it upon yourself, do so. Cause you always, everybody, everybody who's a student is one day is going to be a teacher in some form of matter. Somebody's going to look up to you for you to tell them what to do. Feel me? Eventually, some of us is going to become parents and they're going to be our students that we got to teach in life. You feel me? So you got to learn these things for your own good because you're about to raise the next generation coming up. Or somebody's going to be looking up to you that you don't even know is looking up to you. And these kids don't know these small things. You feel me? Simple things. You know what I mean? Just simple, simple things like opening the door for people. It doesn't mean that, oh, I want, I like her, so let me open the door for her. No, it's just like, I. I have a few time to spare. Me and this person was walking in together. Let me step out the way and open the door for this person to go in. A simple gesture, you feel me? It doesn't mean that you want something in return. If you build good character by doing these things. That's all. Now, if you don't do these things, of course, you're going to grow up to be an older man or an older woman or a teenager, and you're going to be conducting yourself in this kind of behavior that you have going on where most of these people can't compute that it's wrong and they think it's fun and it's like hee hee ha ha and because they have not learned these things to have some kind of sensibility everything they do is they try to show their ass off it's backwards as fuck you feel me it's just like in reverse it's, it's like it's, it's going against what is natural and when it happens to them they start crying like god <laughs> there's so many evil people in this world I'm like man nigga what kind of a hypocrite are you yeah, you probably didn't. You didn't. You probably didn't do the the thing that happened to you. Didn't happen in that grand, in a bigger scale of things. Cause these are the same people that be like, my son was a good. Son. It's like stop it. You know that little nigga was out there doing his thing. It's like let's be honest with the way things are going. The reason why these things happen sometimes is cause you conduct yourself in these behaviors. Plain and simple. You feel me? Anyway, man, that wasn't even the topic of the day. I ain't gonna lie. But I just had to put it out there because there's too many people who are stealing out here and they and they conducting bad behaviors. Then when, when I speak to them, they make it seem like they can lecture me about the things that they are known for doing. And I'm like, are you fucking, are we that delusional that you feel like you can lecture me? Look at the way you carry yourself and look at the way I carry myself. How the fuck you gonna lecture me? 
And what kind of man will I be to listen to you? How you gonna lecture me, my nigga? How you gonna instruct me to do anything where you can't even... Come on, man. These niggas is crazy. It's like this delusional thinking, bro. They, they, they really think they can, like... I, I be looking at them like, yeah, this, this world is out of control, bro. You feel me? These... These are people that's known. These are people that's known for doing dirt. Like, these are people that's operating in a group that's stumping on another man. These are people that's violating somebody else's rights. These are people that's stealing. These are people that's predators, pedophilia. These are people that's stalking and listening in on somebody else's conversation or watching people secretly. And you telling me that you're gonna instruct who? I'm like, you better check yourself, my nigga. Yeah, maybe. Okay, what are you going to instruct me on? My finance? Like, they, they pick the smallest thing in your life to try to... Mic they, they neglect what they do and try to be like, look at what he's doing. Look, look. He didn't even wash his, his shirt right. And most of the time, it's because of them. That's why they sustain on your shit. They create the problem so they can complain about it later on. Please don't lecture me, man. I don't need your lecture because you can't even be honest with yourself. And look at your own situation. You feel me? They delusional, but I'm about to go when you already know what time it is. Hey, shout out to the new hat. I'm about to take that. Shout out to my new hat. I bought that yesterday. Feel me? They try to steal my money. It's crazy, B. This is the reason why I don't even go shopping because it's like you swipe a car. You look at It's crazy, my nigga. They just, <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Like, they just, I can't do it, man. California, like, it's a beautiful place, but. There's some individuals out here that make this shit look bad. Very bad. And they wonder why they still need more. Cause you because you haven't you have not developed the sense to earn it yourself. You see, whenever you take something from somebody, more is gonna be taken from you. You feel me? That's just how it goes. It's it's, it's cause and effect. Cause you you've taken something that didn't belong to you. And God will always punish you when you do something. Even God punished Adam. Adam kept on crying, but how come I can't go back to the Garden of Eden? And God said, "You, this punishment must be answered. You have to be punished for the things that you do. This is the reason why I don't do too many dirt, because I don't want to have too many punishments upon me. Anyway, I got to go. The water still turned off. You know how that goes. So it's a long day. I'll let y'all later.